hello and welcome students to so in this course we are going to take a look at couple of points for example we, we are going to learn about uh, database attack techniques for databases right how you can attack on a database and how you can gather information from database like uh, for example email ids usernames passwords all sensitive data which is available in the backend and we are going to use basically attack tools of kali linux os here so inside kali linux we have tools available for database attacks and i'm going to show you some of them which are really popular and really useful right so uh, we will use a sample website here and uh, on that sample website we are going to attack right so this is the scenario we have an attacker and we have a database and database is inside obviously inside web server so web server contains database all right so if you want to attack on a website right so you are at the front end of the website and you need to enter some queries so that you can connect with the back end of the database right which is back end of the server or you can say database so these these queries are called sql queries sql is called structured query language and uh, this language is used to communicate from front end to the back end so if i am i have a website so i have the front end but i don't have the back end right so if i want to communicate with the back end of the website so i need to send some sql queries to the back end and if i ask a question to the back end in the form of sql queries then it will give me an answer right so that's what database attack i want to um, send some malicious content to the database and if database is not aware that this is a malicious content it will send me the information what i want as an attacker right what i want as an attacker all content of database everything stored in the database mobile numbers fax numbers email ids addresses customer name customer email id everything i need from the database so that we are going to do in this section now if i talk about the database structure so we have we are talking about the back end or database but if you don't know the database structure then you are not able to attack so we need to understand what is the structure of a database general structure of a database right so the general structure of a database you can see this is the this is called a database right this complete shell is called database right inside database we have tables so inside every day for example if database has four tables so you will see basically four tables inside the database so the, for example this is a database right so it will contain actually four tables like this right so these are called table tables are inside database this is a shell for tables inside tables we have columns so inside each and every table we have a columns for example uh, if student is a table name then in student i can have the student name student roll number right so these kind this is called columns and columns are inside tables so this shell is called columns outer shell of columns is called table and outer shell of table is called database the the most inner shell of the database is called data and this is need basically if attacker tries to attack on the database actually he needs the data right so to gather data data you need to go step by step inside that database first of all find out information about database name then gather information about the table names then gather information about the column names and then you can find out the data inside that right so this is a kind of database structure we are going to use in the videos now if we talk about the introduction of database attack then uh, the database attack is related to gather information which is a sensitive information from database like i already told you that uh, it can be a username of any login page it can be password emails addresses can be gathered so these kind of information can be gathered from the database and that is called database attack actually so database assessment or attack tools are already available in kali linux so inside kali linux os we already have a database assessment section right if when you will click on applications in kali linux you will see a new chapter inside database assessment and it contains so many tools 10 to 15 tools are available there but we are going to learn the most important tools among them right for example sql map is available here so sql you can use sql map for database assessment right jsql is available there you can also use it and you can also try to attack on the website without using any tool we are we are also going to merge it inside this section 
so uh, this is all about this section and uh, from the next video we are going to start the practical part of database attack techniques so uh, this is all about the theory part of database attacks right hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for your time and we will come back in the next video